Today's topics, Ukraine advancing toward Melitopol. NATO, we may go to war with Russia soon. Stoltenberg, India-China border clash. Ukraine advancing in Melitopol. This is Bob Sankarian. Please subscribe to this channel to incentivize us to keep bringing your political news update across the world to you. Thanks for watching. Ukrainian forces uh, heavily strike Melitopol, city occupied by Russian troops with uh, IMARS and where multiple explosions have been reported in the southern region of Ukraine. Ivan Fedorov, uh, which is Molitopol's is mayor, says more than 10 explosions have been heard in all districts of the city of Molitopol. Hundreds of Russian troops killed and wounded. Their commanders are very concerned. He also said that Russian transformed Molitopol into a huge military base and they are occupying houses, schools, and hospitals. Russian news alleged that Ukrainian forces are using IMARS to strike a recreation center. And according to Yevgeny Belitsky, a Russian installed governor, uh, two people have been killed and 10 wounded in IMARS attack. Molitopol is the key to the Russian defense of the South Ukraine. It is a very important because it links Russian forces on East Kherson to the Russian border. They carry out logistics materials through Molitopol and uh, Mariupol. There are huge probability that if Molitopol falls, then all Russian defense lines in Kherson Oblast will fall as well. That would make uh, it possible for Ukrainians to retake Crimea. Ukraine is working to retake Crimea from Russians. Multiple explosions have been reported in Sevastopol, a Russian Navy headquarters. Two people are killed by the explosion. The Kremlin acknowledged that Crimea is an easy target to Ukrainian forces and that effective countermeasures are being taken. Two people were arrested in Crimea on a spionage charge. And President Putin says they will keep uh, attacking Ukrainian energy infrastructure because of attacks on Crimea. NATO. NATO says we may go to war with Russia soon. So NATO's General Secretary, Jan Stoltenberg, says last Friday the there is a possibility of a full all-out war with Russia military. He says, I fear that the war in Ukraine will get out of control and spread into a major war between NATO and Russia. He says, according to the, to the Telegraph, Russian officials already believe that US and NATO are already fighting beside Ukraine. Mr. Sergei Lavrov recently says that uh, therefore Russian could strike NATO bases in Europe if uh, they choose to do so. Stoltenberg also said that supporting Ukraine is the best way to stop Russia from invading other nations like Moldova, Lithuania, Poland, and other countries. Many Europeans are getting tired of supporting Russia, uh, supporting Ukraine because of high energy and food prices they have to pay because of this war. Indian China border clash. So, Chinese and Indian troops they clash in the uh, Taiwan sector of India, is Arunachal Pradesh state. Both sides suffer minor injuries. The Indian army reported on Monday. Both Indian and Chinese government are disputing the undermarket 3,800 kilometers uh, border between India and China. Back in 2020, Indian and Chinese troops were involved in end-to-hand -end combat in Galwan Valley of Ladakh, where 20 Indians were killed and over 40 Chinese troops lost their lives, according to Indian media. After this incident, both armies agreed to disengage from the disputed area in their Himalayan border. This is Bob Sankarian. Thanks for watching, and do not forget to subscribe, like, and share. Have a nice day.